Buddy Franklin goes back for goal number 1000. Possibly the last time we'll ever see this. He's done it! All right, well, we end off um, the first game of round two in extraordinary fashion. A really, really tough last quarter. Brought Carlton a 12-point win. The Bulldogs have six straight behinds to end off the game. The Blues go 2-0 for the first time since 2012. First time the Dogs have gone 0-2 under Luke Beveridge. Um, a record-breaking game, to say the least. Charlie Kerno, he's back in action. Paddy Cripps, I think he'll win the Brownlow. 35 possessions and two goals. We've got a Friday night massive game tomorrow. Sydney versus Geelong. Buggy going for a 1,000. I kind of hope he doesn't get it. I, hope, I can't hope he boots two or three and then gets it next week because I'll be streaming the Bulldog Swans game next week. I would love to catch my reaction live on stream. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow night. Here's Franklin for goal 999. I haven't filmed much this game. Franklin, goal 999 at the SCG. Buggy Franklin goes back. He's kicked it. Oh my God. He's got three, and he's got 999, buddy. He has to do it from here. It's the Swans by 28. Franklin, Franklin. Oh, buddy. For a thousand, no. Higgy. Oh, it's like Higgy's kicked it. Buggy can't get it. Higgy can. Oh, my God. What an absolutely ridiculous game of footy. Swans by 34 now. Higgy's got five. Buggy's got three. One away from a thousand. Can he do it? There's three quarter time. It's the Swans 94 and the Cats 61. But the record, the, the result's secondary at this point. Buggy one goal away. The, the, the noises are rough to here at the SCG. Oh my days. This is getting real. This is getting really real. Oh, Buggy goes! Buggy! Buggy! No! That was it. That was it. <laughs> oh my. I, I'm not a supporter of either of these teams. I'm not at the game, and my heart rate is through the roof. My heart rate is genuinely through the roof. I get glare almost, Stangerfield, bloody hell. Here we go, Swans handball, here's Luke Parker. Parker out wide. Can the Swans find something? 11, 20 to go. And Buggy comes onto the field, and the SCG erupts. Oh, no, Buggy's not on. And then there's booze around the ground, <laughs> oh no. And here we go, now Tom Hickey comes off. Now Buggy Franklin comes on. Here's Buggy. I don't think he'll come off. He's got 940 to kick one goal. And then I think we might have another half an hour. <laughs> Logan McDonald. He'll go back. This is to make it a 44 point game. He's, he's put it across the face. I'm on the full. You've got a feeling for Buggy. No. Oh, Buggy. Bump out of bounds. On the Swans go, they've got a chain, Buggy's there, Buggy! He's got to do it, they're getting ready to enter the fleet, oh, they're getting ready to enter the ground, the legs are already over. Buggy Franklin, there are already people on the ground, oh, look at them, <laughs> Buggy Franklin goes back, with goal number 1000. Possibly the last time we'll ever see this. He's done it! Oh my, he's done it. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh, look at this. This is magical. Look at that. Speechless. Oh my day. I genuinely cannot speak. Genuinely cannot speak. Wow. Here we go. We are live on stream at the moment. The start of a double header streaming day. It is Collingwood and Adelaide at 
the MCG. I'm actually enjoying the game so far. A lot of pressure. Colin, we have been the better team. That like have had quite a few chances. Just really inaccurate here. Uh, actually, they're at the top of the second square here. Um, we're streaming right now. Got 30 viewers in chat. Going quite well. Um, double header after this. We'll be streaming Essendon versus Brisbane. So this should be a good game of stream. A day of streaming, sorry. And a, uh, you know, a good day of footy. I'm excited. Footy's back. Round two. Nothing better than waking up 10.30 on a Saturday morning to watch a bit of um, bottom four footy. Okay, so the game's just going back underway here. But there was a boy firing on the delay of the game by about five to ten minutes. And all the fans started evacuating the stadium. The players and the coaches started evacuating the stadium. The umpires did. And so everyone was evacuating the stadium. There's a fire, there was a fire alarm at the MCG. We, we thought that two games, in, uh, two games into the round, Carlton were one of the best teams in the comp. There's a pitch in Beijing and everyone has to evacuate the stadium. Like, it's a crazy round of footy and it turns out it was a false alarm. So, it's it's a bit wild here. Um, it's a bit wild here at the MCG. Vlog um, one, everyone's saying I'm going vlog. I'm going to say the angle of vlog. There we go. There we go. All right, we are here on stream now. Essendon Brisbane, a massive game here at Marvel Stadium. It's about to get underway. Um, this should be exciting. This should be exciting. Jake Stringer's back in the bomber side. Collingwood just absolutely destroyed Adelaide by a bloody number of points. Like, a lot. By about 40, 50 points. Massive win for the Pies against the Crows at the G. And, uh, yeah, very, very exciting. We've got 25 people on chat. Essendon Brisbane, massive watch along. Massive game. Massive stream. Uh, yeah, I've tipped Essendon in an upset. So, let's see how it works out. Um, come on, the Dons. Well, how about this? Essendon Lee Brisbane by 22 points here at half time. My tip was Essendon. Thought they'd bounce back well at Marvel. The crowd would be behind them, and it's exactly right. The crowd's behind them. They're bouncing back, playing good footy. Parish Merit controlling the midfield. Playing very, very well. Yeah, I, I, Essendon looked really, really good. It's a really, really intense and exhilarating game. Half time at Marvel Stadium. It's Essendon 5939, Brisbane 7244. Absolutely incredible game. I tipped the Bombers. They're playing well. Brisbane have brought it back and they're now playing better. Essendon's been very inaccurate. Five goals nine. Brisbane have been clinical. Essendon have been very inaccurate. That's kind of been the difference. And Brisbane's class is shining through. I've tipped Essendon, so hopefully they can get the job done. But you never know in this sort of game. And this game is just going back and forth. Straight out with Sega Squares. Zach Merritt's kicked a goal after Hugh McCluggage kicks one at the other end. It's Essendon by 2 17 52 to 8 2 50. It's an incredible game of footy here at Marvel Stadium. I genuinely can't, can't believe it. It's a very. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. I tipped Essendon. I tipped Essendon. I had a feeling I'd bounce back at Marvel. They're playing their signature Marvel Staggy brand of hoogie against a team who's historically not very good at the venue. So, gee, Essendon got a real good shot here. It's a great game of hoogie to watch. Three quarter time. It's been kind of an iffy game. Melbourne have definitely been the bigger side. But, you know, I'd be very surprised if Gold Coast win from there. But, bloody hell. Paul Agalag in the mud. Alright, there's full time and metric on Sun 69, D's 82, D's grind out. A decent 13 point winner metric on. I believe they have Essendon next week who are in a yeah, sh shocking form to say the least. This is how my tips are looking. I got the Bulldogs tip wrong, I got the Swans tip right, I got the Pies tip right, I got the Bombers tip wrong, I'm never tipping them again. I got the Port tip wrong, I got the Melbourne tip right, I've tipped North against West Coast, I've changed that. I've now tipped Jigglebass against Richmond with no Dusty and no Grimes. I've tipped Frio against St Kilda, but that's an even split on the odds, $1.90 each. Now have a look at this midfield in my fantasy. Took Miller, 147. Jack McRae, 103. Lockie Neal, 145. Paddy Cripps, 123. Krishka Petrarca is captain, 272. How good is that? And then uh, my rocks, they do quite average, 82 each. But then Harry, Big Harry Mackay, not the you know classic fantasy man you'd expect, but he picks up 101 points. That's what we love to see. But also, it's game day at Optus Stadium. Cannot wait. Starts in about four hours. I'm bloody buzzing. Cannot wait. Back at Optus. Should hopefully get the dub over St Kilda. And also, another game on today is Chicago vs Richmond at the MCG, which should be a good game. Might catch that at the pub at Optus Stadium. <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling a little bit flat, to say the least. Um, I'm back from Optus Stadium. The Dockers go down by 10 points to St Kilda. I'm really, really pissed off with that. Horrific, horrific skills. H horrendous display to be hyped up all season to um, putting a gutsy performance against Adelaide. To, to, uh, I was a little bit worried after the Adelaide game that we couldn't compete against a side even like St Kilda. St Kilda weren't good. St Kilda weren't good whatsoever. They were just better and we were terrible. Back to 2016 Frio. 
Um, I am I'm gugging. I'm absolutely gugging. We've got the Derby next week. West Coast in awful form, but not like our luck. They'll get all their players back. So yeah, um, I'm not feeling good. I'm I'm not feeling confident for next week uh, for the Derby. Anyway. Um, also, Richmond GWS, um, I didn't get to capture the game. I changed my tip last second from Richmond to GWS. No Dusty, no Grimes. Richmond win by 36 points. What can you do? Anyway, North Melbourne also, Farish West Coast. So that's all that matters. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next round for another vlog. Cheers.